let's look at querying some v dollar performance views so i have uh, let me start up a user session let me log into a sysdb account for the time being actually v dollar views can be accessed by anybody with access to the views either with the grant catalog role or with the dba role so you don't need to use this dba this dba is not really required for this but for the time being let's use this dba So I'm querying a view called vdollar session to identify users that are connected. So here I can see that there is a user connected as HR. He connected at 22.58 on 10th March. SID and CDL number together ident uniquely identify a session. Never rely on SID alone. Always use SID and serial number together. He has logged in using SQL Plus and is he's logged in from a machine called Grid Control. The last time he executed a call was 73 seconds. The last call elapsed time is 73 seconds. So if I do run a query again, it's 101 seconds. So there's been so many so much time since he last ran a query. In my query I can also add A status column so the status column shows that he is that the user HR is inactive currently so if HR runs another query now he has run a query and he's again inactive but his last exit operation was three seconds ago if, if HR were running a very long running query which I can't do on this database but if it were a very long running query I would probably see the status active and the last call in elapsed time incrementing as long as the query was running. So this, this is V$ session. Let's look at an, another view called V$ SQL. This is a very detailed view. There's a lot of statistics it captures but we just Collect a few, a little few of the columns. So you can see there is one query on count, count stuff from employees which has been executed one time. Elapsed is 3811 millisecond, uh, microseconds, sorry. This is elapsed time and CPU time in microseconds and four disk blocks have been read. The SQL ID is a unique identifier for this SQL. So if the same SQL is run again, it is executed against under the same SQL ID. Let me show that again. If I run the query a few more times I've ran it a few more times let's run my monitoring query on VDollar SQL now it shows that this select count star from employees has been executed four times total elapsed time is 4009 microseconds CPU time is 3000 microseconds that's 3 milliseconds and we can see that this grids have not gone up meaning after the first query all the blocks of this query on employees are reading are from the buffer cache so it has not had to make any fresh discretes. The second query that you see is my monitoring query itself. So this is a V$ SQL. Similarly, there's another view called V$ uh, V$ SQL stats. 
sorry which can also provide the same information However, these queries on $V$ views, uh, particularly for SQL statements, pro return information only as so long as the SQL statement is in the shared pool. If the shared pool is small and there is a lot of activity happening, many queries being executed by users, then SQL statements could get aged out of the shared pool and may no longer be available in the $V$ SQL views. So you have to be careful to verify that the statement has been recently executed and you can then confirm that it is still there in the shared pool. Now let's do a transaction. And then I query for this. Okay, so this is my query on Vidal SQL stats. So here we can see this this query insert statement has a different SQL ID. It has been executed once, and this is the elapsed time. Let's say page size. So we can see the output better, and this count stuff from employees is still there in the in the shared pool. Plus, this insert statement has now also appeared. If I go to run the insert again, you can see the insert has been executed three times, and it has now taken eight thousand microseconds of CPU time and 9349 microseconds of elapsed time. I could also add there. Rows processed, 321 rows have been processed. Rows processed is the last column they were added in the query. So 321 rows have been processed by this three executions of this query. Note that the count star shows rows process 4 because count star returns only one row. The employees table may have 107 rows but this query itself doesn't return 107 rows. This query returns one row. So four executions of this query have returned four rows. But this insert statement has actually inserted multiple rows. It has read multiple rows from employees table and inserted multiple rows into copy m so three inserts resulted in 321 rows being processed there's another view called v dollar transaction which shows you what are the existing transactions So I'm going to join v dollar transaction to v dollar session. So here it shows me that there is a query executed by user HR from session ID 357. And is, I'm sorry, this is a transaction and this transaction has generated six undo records. It is not six 
table records it's six undo records undo records are in an oracle internal format so every transaction will generate undo records if i do a few more inserts you can see this is 12 undo records but the transaction start time remains the same from 305 of 10th march once i commit the transaction disappears so the join between v dollar session and v dollar transaction returns no rows because there is no entry in v dollar transaction so we looked at a few views here v dollar session v dollar sql v dollar sql stats and v dollar transaction if you look at the documentation in the reference manual there are many more views you can access when you are monitoring the database you can also access all those views through the enterprise manager EM Express or Enterprise Manager Grid Control or Cloud Control.